Good afternoon, everybody. David Schuster on Take Action News. It is Saturday, December the 15th. Welcome to the third hour of our program. So glad to have you with us. We're going to be pausing in just a couple minutes to let our syndicated stations catch up with us. But I want to let you know, for everybody who is in Washington, D.C., or who's watching this on our live stream over TakeActionNews.com or listening to us over 1480 AM, we have a huge event at our radio station on Tuesday night, a fundraiser. That is uh, being hosted by our own uh, Mark Levine, a colleague here. He's got a show on Sundays. This is a fundraiser for the radio station. It's an open house, an opportunity for everybody in the area to come down, see our studios at 1918 Martin Luther King Avenue. And as part of this, Congressman Barney Frank, Congressman John Conyers, they will be dropping by the station because they believe very strongly in community radio and in public service, as do we. So we will be honoring them and inviting the public to come on by. So uh, come down and see us, 1918 Martin Luther King Avenue. Avenue in Anacostia. What a great neighborhood. What a great space we have. We're joined, of course, by Daniel Marins, our executive producer, and Mitch Malaski, vice president in charge of engineering. You know, Daniel, in that last segment, uh, we were talking with Brandon Dillon, Democrat uh, member of the Michigan legislature. It's the first time I had ever uh, talked to the guy. I think he's a rising star. He's so articulate. He's smart. That guy, he's got a, he's got a huge future. That's right, David. We're the, we're the farm team of the United States. <laughs> No, you were mentioning you were messaging me that he's probably got a future in Congress. I think you're right. I mean, he's a lot smarter than uh, than most members of Congress. It's I mean, it's tough out there. Uh, Western Michigan, I know, is much more Republican, um, but you know they do. I think that they make parts related to cars in in some of those areas like Holland, Michigan, uh, Grand Rapids, furniture capital of the world. Uh, but right now they're represented by a very conservative guy. We're, we've also been trying to get him on the show, Congressman Justin Amash. Uh, he's sort of a, a, a Ron Paulite. Uh, and uh, you know it, it's 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 really it, you know it, it it's amazing to me because when when we think of kind of we're always talking about income inequality in this country mm -hmm. we're always talking about it we're always talking about lower wages or, or rather liberals are always talking about it <laughs> yeah. and uh, and 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 you want to know what causes income inequality. Look at union representation. Look at the share that workers get of the productivity that they're generating. Their ability to bargain for that on the job. And you look at the eight, you know, something like eight out of the ten states with the highest rates of poverty, lowest wages, are, are right to work states. Because what what happens in effect? You say, okay, well, if the union can't compel members, to, can't compel people working under contract to make dues, then surely they can they can persuade them. But the reality of employer intimidation in the in that kind of environment. Is, is so tremendous. Um, and so what, what people are really talking about now is rather than looking at this from a perspective of, of solidarity, which is a hard sell in America, rather than looking at it uh, from a perspective of, well, all of our tide raises all boats, we should be looking at organizing as a civil right and the right to represent yourself in the workplace and give it the same protection that we give uh, people against racial discrimination. And that way the Department of Justice and the government... <laughs> much more effectively and, and crack down on employers that are doing these things in very kind of covert and subtle ways at times. Speaking of not so subtle, um, I just hit the uh, button for cheering. Uh, I'm right there with you, Daniel Marantz. And, uh, you know, by the way, for everybody who's sort of wondering, what the heck is going on with We Act Radio's program? Well, you know, if, if, if you just want to do more than just listen to us on the radio, and we, we love all of our listeners all over the place, if you want to actually see radio being made, you can go to TakeActionNews.com because we now have a live video stream where you can see Daniel Marantz and Mitch Malaski and myself, and uh, we're all right there. And so, uh, and it's, you know, I think it's sometimes it's fun to be able to watch a, a program as well as listen to it. And, and along with this sort of a Google Plus format that we're using are all these uh, weird sound effects that, uh, that I can play with. So if you see Mitch Malaski start to lose his hair, uh, you'll know why. Mitch, how are we doing with all this? We are doing well. We're doing well. We're making it through, definitely. Had a few few things here and there, but we're, uh, we're loving this Google Hangout, loving the video. And, you know, it, it gives us a lot. A lot more options, a lot more things we can do, and uh, and it's it's a real uh, real treat. And of course, uh, the Mitch Malaski fans, whenever they hear Mitch, it's it's sort of a, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, Schuster. Enough with the sound effects. Get back to work. So, um, in about uh, forty five seconds, we're going to pause and let our syndicated stations uh, catch up with us, and uh, so that. Um, we will do our regular social media segment with uh, Dr. Alan Rosenblatt, Dr. Digipol, who, by the way, he is also going to be part of our video uh, Google Plus Hangout here. So if you want to see Alan Rosenblatt, you can go to uh, TakeActionNews.com. 
But um, folks, I mean, it has been it has been a remarkable week. We were just talking, of course, about what happened in Michigan, but um, we're going to spend a lot of you know the next segment talking about what happened in in Connecticut, the reaction, particularly in social media, to the massacre in Newtown, Connecticut. We'll get to Alan Rosenblatt to talk about that. Take Action News continues. We pause now for our syndicated stations. You're listening to Take Action News.